Metro Brokers TV. Welcome to Metro Brokers TV, and I'm very honored today to have Ted Bryant. Ted is a director for the National Association of Realtors. He's also a director for the Colorado Association of Realtors, and he's been a past real estate commission chairman. So, uh, quite a lengthy pedigree, Ted. Welcome. Thank you, Mark. I'm honored to be here. We wanted to have you in here today, Ted. First of all, one of the requirements for Metro Brokers is everyone has to be a realtor. Right. And I think there's, it probably depends on one's devotion to their profession, but I think there's a lot of misconceptions about the benefit of being a realtor and really what our money goes towards. And I wanted to talk today briefly about some of the really important financial and tax considerations that our dollars have done for us over the past. Well, Mark, I don't think we have time today to cover all of those things because that's a big ball of wax. Um, Basically, let me, the organization we feel is the voice of real estate. I mean, stop and think about it. Uh, when the legislature wants to put a transfer tax on real estate, who goes down to try to get that from happening? Is it a, is, does Bonnie Bray uh, Homeowners Association goes down there? Of course not. It's the State Association of Realtors. We look out for uh, our customers as well as our, as our members. When you belong to the National Association of Realtors, you actually belong to three separate organizations. You have uh, the National Association, which is this year 100 years old, uh, NAR. And then you have uh, the State Association of Realtors, uh, Colorado Association. And then you have whatever local board it is that you belong to. It could be the uh, Mountain Metro, Jefferson County, South Suburban. So those things wrap together are the organization and the various sections of it. And in there we have uh, government affairs, education. We also have a great deal of things uh, that offer an opportunity to our members to do a better job for the public and for themselves. And, but in order to really benefit from that, that member has to uh, go to those things and to participate and work on it. Uh, such as that example that we talked about, the uh, Lowe's uh, benefit, where you go in and register your clients and Lowe's send them uh, under your name uh, a card uh, if they just bought a house to uh, a nice discount at Lowe's to help right. them buy something for the new house. It also will do several other things for you on that site. That's just one example. Well, let's talk about some, some other issues that NAR has fought for on our behalf and the consumer's behalf as far as uh, financial and tax benefits. We're talking about the primary capital gains tax being pr pretty much eliminated on home sales. Uh, on, on your primary dwelling, if you've lived in it for two of the past five years and you sell it, you don't have a capital gains tax uh, on that up to 500,000 for a couple, 250 for single. Uh, that is in the law today because of the National Association of Realtors. And what about 1031 tax-free exchange, exchanges? 1031 tax-free exchanges, that's where you exchange a property. Uh, you don't ever sell it. You have to use an intermediary. You don't get the money, but you, within 180 days, buy another property, transfer that equity in there. It defers the capital gain until such time as you do so. There are many other things. We got the right, for instance, as realtors, to be independent contractors uh, actually defined in legislation on the national level as to what it takes to qualify to be an independent contractor. And before that, we were, we, uh, were not, and uh, many people had trouble with the IRS. So I, I guess, Mark, the things that we're talking about, if you, if you stop, who, who would speak for us were it not for the National Association of Realtors? Yeah. Who would speak for us? Who would speak for uh, the homeowner on the deductions and for not having to pay capital gains on their primary dwelling simply because in many cases it's increased because of inflation. So uh, it seems to me that the, that the organization, I'm proud to belong to it and uh, I think that uh, our members should get more involved so they understand the many benefits that uh, you do obtain from it. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your information, Ted. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming down here today. Thank you for inviting me. You bet.